Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You join me at the Belfry once again. We are in the TaylorMade Fitting Suite and I'm gonna give you a drill that you can do in your practice sessions, which is gonna give you a real good feel for your golf swing and give you a really good sort of understanding of your golf swing and just give you a slightly better rhythm through your golf swing. Now, this is a drill which looks very, very easy to do, but in fact is incredibly hard. It's something that we tend to see good players are able to do a little bit better. But what it does tell us also is that if we can get golfers who struggle with this to continue doing this drill, it will help them with, with many things in their golf swing. So what we're gonna get you to do is hit about four shots with one of your mid irons. So I've got a seven iron. The idea being each of these golf swings is going to be completely full in length. So it's gonna be a full swing. That means complete back swing right way through to impact and right way through to finish. However, we want you to hit the ball four different distances. I want the first one to hit the ball about 30 yards. Second one is gonna be around about 70 to 80. Third one is gonna be about 110, 120. And then the fourth one is gonna be your full swing, which for me, seven eye is about 170, 180. So let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like. And then we'll talk a little bit about why we're doing this and what it's gonna do for you as, as a golfer. So the first one, full swing, 30 yards. Incredibly difficult. Looks hopefully relatively easy, but it isn't. Okay, so that landed just a little bit less than 30. I reckon that was probably about 25. So next one, so we're gonna go for about 60 or 70. You don't have to be exact with these yardages, but you just get the idea that we're trying to hit four different distances. Okay, there's a flag out there at 17 that's landed just short of it, so that was about right for me. So this one's going to be just over the 100. If I can, about 110. Okay, maybe a little short of it. That's okay actually, about 100. I'm actually gonna try and do another two here. I'm gonna try and do about 130 and then a full one, just so I'm gonna do try and do five. Okay, so that's gone about 130, yep. And this last one is going to be just my full golf swing. Okay, so five shots. So it doesn't really matter whether you do four or five, but you can get the idea. It's trying to do full length swings, but trying to really control how fast the golf club and your body are working. It's going to be really good if you're making any swing changes, because what it's going to do is it's going to help you it's going to give you more awareness of where that golf club is through that golf swing. Okay? You're going to start to really sense what's moving where, how things are functioning, what's happening through the impact, where you are here, etc., etc. It's going to give you a good feel. We often find that really good players have just got really good awareness and control of this golf club. Unfortunately, we see the higher handicappers, we don't really see those with huge amounts of control of what their body's doing and huge amounts of control of what their club is doing. You would be surprised at how many golfers... I will get to stand here with a seven iron and I will say to the right, make a full swing and hit that ball 30 yards like you saw I did in that first shot there. And I will just see loads of speed, full swing. They really struggle to control the movements of their body, the movements of the club and really sync them and blend them all together. It's going to help you. It's not going to be something that you spend an hour on the range doing. But if we can maybe start our practice session and do some Really, really slow golf swing. So I'm going to do that 30 yard run again so you can see it. So it's my full golf swing. But the ball's gone 30 yards, okay? Ben Hogan used to do this in his practice. He used to try and sort of create the whole golf swing, but in super slow motion. And he really said it gave him a good feel of where that club was, how the body was working and how the body was functioning. As I say, if you're doing some swing changes, it's going to be really good for you to give a good feel for what you're trying to do. But it just gets you to understand and gets you to sense and control the golf club, the body, the movements, the timing, and it is going to be beneficial for you, okay? So try it. Don't try it with a driver. It's not really going to be a, a thing that you do with a driver. Mid iron, short iron is going to be good. Full swing, 30 yards, then move up 50 to 60, 70 to 80, 110, 120, and then, and then a full shot, okay? I did five there, four would be okay, it doesn't really matter, but you just get the idea, just progressing it through each time. It's difficult, okay? We often find that the shorter ones, people can sort of do that shorter one, 
but they, they don't tend to continue all the way through. So make sure that you're doing, you're trying to create what looks like a good impact. You're trying to get right through to a full finish. Hold, hold your pose if that ball's gonna hit your target. Really be quite disciplined in the movements here, okay? Try and recreate what would look like a good goal sink. If you video it, it should look as if it's a full goal sink, it's just super slow motion. It's just slow down like they do on the, on the golf that you see on TV. It's what it should look like, okay? Have a go, it's not easy. So it looks hopefully, if I've done it right, it looks relatively easy, but it isn't. But give it a go. It might give you a bit more awareness of what your body's doing, what the club's doing, and that might help you play some better golf next time you get on the course. Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, hit the like button if you liked it. Hit, uh, post any comments in the boxes down below. I'll do my best to respond to them as I can. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Uh, it just means you'll get first access to the videos. It's all free, so it's well worth doing. Okay, so we'll see you again next time, guys. Thanks for watching again.